Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessings be upon the best of creation, our master Muhammad al-Mustafa, and upon his pure progeny, upon his chosen companions and upon those who follow them in righteousness until the day of judgment. The affectionate Abrahamic call, which by Allah's command summons all human beings, in all eras to the Kaaba during the time of the Hajj, has once again this year, attracted the hearts of a number of Muslims from around the world to this base of Tawhid Islamic monotheism and unity. It has brought about this magnificent, diverse gathering of a multitude of people, revealing the human spectrum and spiritual power of Islam, both to itself and to others. When one contemplates this magnificent gathering and the complex Hajj rituals, one sees that it is a source of reassurance for and an increase in the confidence of Muslims, while being intimidating and a cause of trepidation for enemies and for ill-wishers. It should not come as a surprise if the enemies and ill-wishers of the Islamic Ummah attempt to ruin and sow doubts about both of these aspects of the Hajj whether it is by accentuating denominational and political differences, or by trying to diminish the importance of its sacred and spiritual aspects. The Quran introduces the Hajj as a manifestation of servitude to Allah, Dikr remembering Allah, humbleness, and the equal dignity of all human beings. It introduces the Hajj as a manifestation of a human being's organized material and spiritual life, a manifestation of blessings and guidance, and a manifestation of moral peace and harmony between religious brothers and practice. And the Quran introduces the Hajj as a manifestation of repugnance and the establishment of a powerful front against the enemies. Reflection on the verses related to the Hajj and contemplation on the acts and rituals of this unparalleled obligation reveal these matters in similar secrets and mysteries as these that exist within the intricate arrangement that constitutes the Hajj. Brothers and sisters, as pilgrims undertaking the Hajj, you are currently in a place where you can practice these truths and luminous teachings. Bring your thoughts and actions closer and closer to these, and bring back to your homes a reformed identity infused with these lofty concepts. This is the true and valuable souvenir of your Hajj journey. This year, the issue of bar renunciation of the polytheists is more prominent than ever before. The tragedies in Gaza, which are unparalleled in our contemporary history, along with the audacity of the ruthless Zionist regime, which is the embodiment of cruelty and villainy, and of course the declining state of Zionism, leaves no room for any consideration or tolerance by any individual, party, government, or Muslim denomination. This year's renunciation of the polytheists must continue beyond the time and place of the Hajj, to all Muslim countries and cities worldwide. It must continue beyond just the Hajj pilgrims, and be extended to the general populace. This renunciation of the Zionist regime and its supporters, in particular the government of the United States of America, must be demonstrated in the words and actions of nations and governments, and it must impede the actions of the murderers. The iron-clad resistance of Palestine and the patient, oppressed people of Gaza whose remarkable patience and resistance have earned them global admiration and respect must be fully supported in every way. I implore Allah for their complete and swift victory. And for you dear pilgrims, I pray that your Hajj be accepted. May the prayers of the remnant of Allah on earth Imam Mahdi may our souls be sacrificed for him be with you. May Allah's greetings and mercy be upon you.